All right, next we're going to basically put this to use. So as you can see, we have a nice little right triangle here. And uh, to be able to come up with the ratio of this triangle, what we have to do is we have to identify our reference angle. And our reference angle is basically the angle that we're going to use to come up with the trig ratios. Well, there are three angles of the triangle. The one angle that cannot be the reference angle is your right angle. So aside from that, the reference angle is going to be dependent on which angle we use. So once we identify our reference angle, that's going to help us out in finding the values of the other trig functions. So now we know what theta is. Now as you can see, I've got a nice little uh, right triangle. Well, I'm missing one of my sides. Well, luckily, we know enough about how uh, right triangles to be able to find the missing side. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the Pythagorean theorem, since we are dealing with right triangles. So we'll plug these values in, and we'll say we know both of our legs, so 5 squared plus 12 squared is equal to your hypotenuse squared. This will get us 25, I guess I'll write the whole thing out, plus 144 equal to the hypotenuse squared. So 169 equal to our hypotenuse squared. And lastly, we're going to take the square root. So we get our missing side. Normally we do plus or minus there, it would be plus or minus 13. But since we're dealing with a measure of length, it has to be positive. So now we know all three sides of our triangle, so we can come up with our trig ratios. So again, there are six. We'll find the sine of our angle, the cosine of our angle, the tangent of our angle, and then we'll also find the cosecant, the cotangent, well, the cotangent down here, and the secant. So let's see if we can't do it. Uh, the ratio for sine, since this is our angle, uh, the side opposite is always going to be the side across from your angle. Your angle is made by two uh, sides. It's your hypotenuse. And the other side is always going to be the adjacent side. So the adjacent side along with your hypotenuse will always create your reference angle. And then the side opposite is the one across from it. So the ratio for sine is opposite over adjacent. I mean, just kidding, over hypotenuse. So 5 thirteenths cosine is going to be the adjacent over the uh, hypotenuse. This is going to be opposite over adjacent. Now the other ones, once you understand the relationship between the primary trig functions and the secondary trig functions, it's pretty easy. Okay? I don't necessarily know what cosecant is in terms of the ratio, but I know that it's reciprocal of sine. So this will be 13 fifths. This will be 13 twelfths, because it's the reciprocal of cosine, and cotangent is the reciprocal of tangent, so 12 fifths. A couple things, I don't want decimals for these. Make sure you leave your answers as fractions, because it is measuring a ratio. So you shouldn't be given decimal answers on these. Also, don't write these as mixed fractions. Leave them as is.